Welcome back to another Bets Bets Fishing video. Let's get right into the action. This video is about really the basics of crabbing in the SF Bay. So we're going to start with uh, gear, tide, and then I'll show you the action I've been getting. There's kind of two uh, ways you can catch crab. Uh, the first way is a crab snare. You can buy it for like $5 on Amazon. This got super tangled, but I used it today. But basically, um, you put bait in here, and this is three ounces, but if the current's strong, you're gonna need to add your own weight. And pretty much what happens, a crab walks up to it, and their claws or something get in here, and then we reel it in. It tightens up like this, and you pretty much pull it in, but keep pulling, otherwise if you slow down, it's gonna widen up and it'll slip out. The other thing you can do is a crab net. So basically, this. So pr pretty much, you put the bait in the in here, uh, drop it to the bottom, and then after like 15 minutes, just bring it up. Crab will be in here. Now let's move on to the tides. So when I went, the tides were really weird this week. As you can see, there's two kind of high tides within a few hours of each other, and that made for less ideal conditions. Also, it was 20 mile per hour winds. So my bit, you know, it was hard to get crab because the crab themselves are going everywhere. Um, ideal crabbing weather is the photo you'll see right here. And that is a high tide at night and in the morning, 12 hours apart. And a one long, strong, steady incoming tide. I like to go more towards uh, low tide, but yeah. Now let's get into the rest of the video. For bait, I recommend chicken breast or chicken thighs. It works really well, along with uh, fish carcasses. But I didn't have any, so I'm using chicken thighs, and that always seems to work. Here you can see me trying to catch the crab snare I was talking about earlier. I added a two ounce weight to it, but that did not seem to work. And this is my crab net tied to the pier so I don't lose it. And then I just basically dropped it straight down to the bottom. I did record this by myself today. But basically I'm walking the crab snare over to an open spot. Um, where I'll just give it a soft cast out into the water. to leave it in the water for about 10 minutes enough time where the crabs don't steal my bait and I walk over and I'll bring it up at a constant speed. I didn't seem to get anything. Um, I usually would but the current seemed to be too strong today. About 5 minutes after I brought up my crab snare I decided to bring up my crab net. Um, it wasn't that deep, but unfortunately, I did not get anything. Now I'm going to check my crab snare again, and I actually had a too small rock crab on the line. But um, you can see I paused for a second and they fell off. Or I didn't pause. But they still fell off. And that was a bummer, but I just gave it a small cast back in. I didn't want my line to drift everywhere. This time around, I was able to get something on the crab um, net. I got one small rock crab. 
I actually got two Dungeness Crab earlier, I just didn't record it. Um, if you want to see more crab action, I made a whole video and we got like 30 crab that day and we're going to make another one in the future. I switched sides to the pier. Um, I wasn't having much luck on the other side of the pier, but this side had a lot of current. I actually got a super rare crab here, so pause the video, guess the name of it if you don't know in the comments, and winner gets absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, but I'll let you know what it is after you see the crab. Sorry the camera's a little blurred, I got water on it, but here we have a spider crab. Um, if you got it, that's cool, I've actually never seen one in the bay before, and yeah. Maintenance is a really important part of crabbing. Um, I didn't want my stuff to rust, so just rinsing it with fresh water afterwards is always a good idea. That's all there is to it, if you made it this far, good for you, make sure to give it a like, it helps us a lot, I mean we spend a lot of time on each video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more action. If you want to see more crabbing action, uh, I made a video um, a while ago where we got like 30 crabs in one day, so go check that out. Hopefully this helped. Um, check out our t-shirts and all that. See you next time.